Hey guys, so I'm doing a video on basically how to keep your current Mac with the specs that you have currently on your computer. We just need to do a little upgrading. Now this video might not work for everyone. I mean, it depends on what you have and the type of budget you're willing to spend. Uh, let's, uh, let me show you what I have so far. So if you go to the Apple symbol and you go into here, you see I got your send, you're sending me 10.10. Uh, I have eight gigs of RAM in the i7, which is pretty decent. Decent graphics card. Um, the only problem is, is that when you start upgrading to these newer newer operating systems, your system start tends to slow down. Like I get a lot of clients that hit me up and say uh, basically that their computer is not working anymore because every time they open, it just lags and freezes and freezes over and over again. So that's why you have to do these uh, upgrades. Now, if you don't have anything less than um if you have something less than four gigs then yeah you have to upgrade your ram too right now i have eight i mean i'm going to upgrade to 16 uh but eight is still good like you can keep it at eight um if you have i7 that's pretty good now if you have i3 or i5 you can still upgrade this but if you have a dual core process you're not going to be able to upgrade it because it's not going to take the new operating system so let's if you have an i3 i5 and i7 we should be able to upgrade this uh, to the newest OS, and we're gonna put some tools in it. So, as you can see, I have a MacBook Pro. All right. So I'm gonna show you guys some ways to upgrade this laptop. So first, what you wanna do is you probably wanna change the memory on here. So look at what kind of Mac you have. I have a MacBook Pro, 13 inch, uh, early 2011. So we're gonna go to Crucial.com. by memory select your computer alright so we know we have an Apple alright let's type in Mac book pro so we have to go down remember I have a, a 13 inch 2011 so if you have a 2010, just make sure you have that. But remember, if you have anything less than the i3, this upgrade is not going to work well for you. All right, so I had an early 2011. So I click this. All right, so mine maxes out at 16 gigs. So this is what you want to see. You want to see what your laptop maxes out as. Remember, you should have nothing less than 8 gigs. So 16 gigs, and then look, you can order here. Um, online crucial is pretty good and they ship in a couple days or what I like to do is I just order everything from Amazon so the crucial actually gives you the type of memory you need what I do is I just highlight this copy it and I go to Amazon put that right in the search box don't do it if you want to get 8 gigs you can if you want to do 16 gigs you can do 16 just change that to 8 and then as you can see, you can actually probably get it a little bit cheaper online. Um, so you can actually order this online here. So this is the first step right here. You want to get some more memory. You want to be 8 or 16 gigs or even more. If your computer goes up to 32 gigs and you got the budget, spend it on it. Um, another thing we have to buy is a solid state hard drive, an SSD hard drive. So you want to put Mac SSD hard drive. The only brands that I mess with is Crucial and Samsung, all right? Two of the top, probably I think, two of the top uh, SSD hard drives. So that's this is another Crucial thing. You should So go to your Apple symbol again about this Apple and storage. So in your storage here, this will tell you what you use. See, I have my... Uh, external SSD in there. This is what I'm installing later. I'm going to show you guys real quick later how to do that. But you want to see how much data you're using up here. See, I have a 500 gig hard drive in here and I have 94 free. So I can get another 500 gig SSD hard drive. So as you, as you can see here, they sell 500 gig SSD hard drives here. They have that for, for Samsung or you can get a crucial one. Don't get a Western digital one. They're pretty bad. They fell quick. See, this crucial one is uh, 500, so I'm probably going to buy this 500 one uh, from Crucial because it's 69. Crucial is a pretty good brand. 
Um, but yeah, you want to go with what you have currently on your computer. Now, let's say if you have like a terabyte, but you only use the 100 gig, so you could still get a 500 gig um, external hard drive. No, I mean uh, SSD hard drive. Uh, but yeah, so those are the two things we need to upgrade. And then you want to go here and see what you're on, your operating system you're on. A lot of people still are on like 10.10, I've seen people on 10.9. Uh, but yeah, you want to try to upgrade to the newest one because you're, you're probably getting all these error messages like, hey, um, operating system doesn't support this application anymore stuff like that um if it's starting to slow down on you too so you want to do these slight little upgrades to get this happening all right so those are the two things we need memory and ssd hard drive remember this is the mac so this is very easy to do um but yeah that'll be this part now i'm going to show you what tool you need to uh get this rolling because now we what we're going to do is we're going to clone this hard drive onto an ssd hard drive and install the memory all right so stay tuned guys all right, guys. So uh, once you order your stuff, now once you get the parts, we got to go to um, a website and download something to clone your Mac hard drives. So this website, um, type in carbon copy cloner. You see that on the search? Yeah. And then you hit the download button here. Yeah. And you want to download the newest version you have. So you download it install it you know do the regular stuff and then eventually you're going to get the the carbon copy cloner once you get that you can either purchase it but i would just get the trial version because they give you 30 days and you get you can do whatever you want with it so go to trial and then as you can see here you'll put your destination you'll put your source first which is your current hard drive and then you do your destination which is the ssd and then you hit clone once you're done recording this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get the uh, successful um, that it transferred over. Just check the size. The size should be identically the same as the other hard drive. And then after that, we're gonna have to put this bad boy in. So I'm gonna switch this video around and so you see how the insides would look like. All right. All right, guys. So what you gotta do is take these screws out. See the little screws? I'm gonna take all the little screws out on the side here. You wanna take all those out. Once you have those out. <clears throat> And just pop it, pop it open, and here you're on the inside of the of your laptop. So from here, as you can see, we got the memory over here. So all you gotta do is take the clips out on the side there, take the clips, and then also right here is your hard drive. So this is where we're gonna be replacing it. All right. So to take the memory out, just gotta pull these little clips here. You see. Pull that one, and this it pops up. So once it pops up, just slide it in there, and you push it down. That's how you'll upgrade your memory. For your hard drives, you gotta take those little screws out there. You see the one and two? So you got one here, one here. Just unscrew those, and then the hard drive will just come out right out. You probably will have like a, a silver tab in. And then, as you can see, the drive just comes right out. And then you have to take this off. That'll be your SSD. And then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to unscrew these as well. So you see how each side has two of these? You've got to unscrew that as well. All right, so I paused it for a little bit just to get these screws in. So once you get the screws in here, just get in the, the slot. Make sure it pushes down nice and good and then you're going to put these anchors back in up top and then you'll screw those bad boys down so now that they're screwed down you're pretty much all set now you just put your cover back on and you're gonna you're gonna put your screws all back in there all right, guys, I'm going to show you what tools you need quickly to do this, too. Like I have a data transfer cable here, as you can see, and it's connected to my SSD hard drive over there. You can buy this data transfer cable online. They're, they're cheap. They're probably going to get for like 30 bucks or so. Um, but, yeah, this, this is what you'll need to clone your hard drive as well. 
All right, guys. So once we get the computer boot up, um, after you screwed in everything, your SSD, you should see a, a definitely great performance in on like the boot time. It should definitely increase a lot better than what you're used to. Um, so now you're going to upgrade. I can only upgrade to High Sierra. Um, it depends on what operating system and um, specs you have on your computer, what, what's the highest you can go to. But like if you can get over 10.12, and above then you should be fine for the next couple of years um but yeah just f try to find out which operating system you can upgrade to and you're all set all right guys so uh thank you for watching the video if you have any questions leave comments down below have a good one guys